Hi everyone, I'm Brian Strausser, Principal and Chief Executive here at Brightpath. And in episode 217 of our Managing Uncertainty podcast, I want to try and answer this question. Why do so many Chief Information Security Officers, or CISOs, have challenges speaking to the broader business and interacting at that executive level in their organization? This is a multifaceted issue that has received a lot of attention lately. There has been multiple articles in the Wall Street Journal alone just about this challenge. How do CISOs, how do cybersecurity professionals do a better job of relating and communicating with senior executives? And this issue stems from a number of challenges, differing perspectives, uh, the use of jargon and lexicon, and just priorities. So let me walk through six factors as I see it that complicate this. And I think that this challenge applies just as much to uh, the other resilience domains, business continuity, crisis management, and crisis communications than it does just to information security or cybersecurity. The first is technical complexity. It's technical, technical complexity versus business simplicity. CISOs often have a deep technical background. They grew up, so to speak, in the information security disciplines. They focus on the intricacies of cybersecurity threats and countermeasures and technical controls that are in place. Business leaders likely lack that technical depth, even in technology companies, and they're looking for information that directly impacts business objectives. That creates a chasm. It's a chasm between two knowledge bases. One from a business perspective, one from the cybersecurity perspective, and these can impede effective communication. The second is a language barrier. CISOs use highly specialized jargon in their day-to-day -day communication with their teams, and that can often just be incomprehensible to non-technical stakeholders. That can create a disconnect. Business leaders may find it challenging to grasp the essence and the implications of security updates and concerns and the issues in front of them. Number three, differing objectives. While CISOs are primarily concerned with minimizing risk and ensuring compliance, business leaders are prioritizing something different. How do we grow the business? How do we generate revenue? How do we gain market share and other financial metrics? The divergence in these primary objectives make it difficult for each party to fully appreciate the concerns of the other. Number four, a big one, it's limited business acumen. Some CISOs just do not have the business acumen to translate technical details into business impact and do it effectively. This makes it hard for them to convey the importance of security initiatives that will resonate with their board of directors and the C-suite. Number five is time and attention. And this goes back to simplicity. Business leaders are swamped with a set of competing priorities. Cybersecurity is often viewed to them as a cost center rather than as a value add. This leads to limited time and attention that gets placed for in-depth discussions around security issues, and that further widens the communication gap. And lastly, it's crisis mode. Most CISOs are interacting with business leaders, unfortunately, under crisis conditions, like during a significant security breach or issue that they're working through. This leads to a heightened emotional, heightened state of, of just emotional and business stakes that can really exasperate the existing communication challenges. So those are six challenges as I see them in this relationship. Now here's how to bridge the gap. It's crucial that CISOs develop their understanding of business priorities and that they communicate their security objectives in terms of business risk and opportunity. Implementing a structured crisis communication strategy could be particularly beneficial so that when you're in crisis mode as well that you've got some of this nailed down in advance. But you want to make sure that your security goals are aligned to the business risk and the business outcomes that you're seeking to achieve. CISOs can more effectively engage with business leaders in those ways, thereby facilitating a more productive working relationship and have more influence with the board and the C-suite. That's it for this edition of the Managing Uncertainty Podcast. We'll be back next week with another new episode. Be well. Thanks for watching our video. 
To learn more about how to manage uncertainty and disruption in your organization, be sure to like, follow, and subscribe to our video channel. And here are a few more videos that we've selected that will help you learn more about business continuity, crisis management, and crisis communications.